upside Put the brake down. upside down. What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> Guys, good wonderful day. We are here today at the shop, Pro Scooter Lab, Scooter Shop, which is a scooter shop, a pretty brand new scooter shop in Chino Hills. It's like five minutes away from Chino Skate Park. Today I will cut my brand new scooter deck. We got here the Ethic Pandemonium deck. So we are here today with Ronnie. What up, guys? How old are you? 14. 14. And you cut scooter decks? Yeah. Yeah. Today we will help you tips and tricks on how you can cut your scooter deck. Perfectly, right? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I see so many people who have like their decks cut and they do it totally wrong and it's just a waste of money, right? Yeah, that like, happens all the time. Just like it makes me so sad because like scooter decks are quite expensive and you want to make sure like they fit and they look good, right? Yes. And they should work. We will give you all our best tips and tricks we ever have so you can cut your scooter deck yourself or with the help of other people perfectly. Today we will cut the Ethic Pandemonium deck. Here we got my scooter. As many of you guys might know, the Ethic Pandemonium deck is originally longer. And I want to have my deck shorter, so we will cut this deck to this deck. My deck is currently, I think, 19.4 inches. Yep, that's what Perfect. we measured. Perfect, yeah. Step one for cutting your scooter deck perfectly is knowing how long you want to have it. Because if you don't know how long you want to have it, you don't know how much to cut. Like, wh wh what do you think is a good deck size? Preferably park riders like 19.5. For a normal size per person park rider, we recommend 19.5 inches. If you're smaller, so here we got eight year old Joe. Yeah, big air Joe, you can follow him on Instagram. So how long is your deck? 17.5. Yeah, so he's eight years old and his deck is 17.5. If you are a normal size person, we recommend 19.5 inches or shorter. Like if you are like smaller or like younger, like I think any anything between 19.5 five inches and let's say 17 inches when you're like a 12 year old scooter kid 19.5 is good yeah or sometimes a longer deck can be helpful for example when you do grinds and stuff you have a better balance point and just more a uh, foot space so if you're taller or you grind a lot just try it out for yourself but now we show you how to cut decks we will do my deck 19.4 inches step one is mark how long you want to have it, right? Sharpie. We got a Sharpie here. So as you can see, this deck is a tiny bit longer than this. So we were going to put them next to each other. Make sure they're perfectly aligned. And then we were going to mark... Measure this, okay? Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure you measure both decks and make sure you exactly. take the same Exactly. Measure point. both decks always and make sure this is straight. Yeah. 19.4. 19.4. Step one is done. We mark the deck length. Step two. Cutting it. There's different ways to cut decks. I'd say safest and most perfect way, like the cleanest way to do it, is to have a big, big handsaw. Just like this. Yeah, it's a table saw. This is like a machine, it's not even expensive. Most scooter shops have it. If not, alternatively, you can take a handsaw, which is also very good. Just make sure you're safe. Wear gloves under the age of 18. Like always get help. Honestly, with a handsaw, you can cut decks also perfect, right? Yeah. Yeah, what's the main difference? The main difference is this is gonna give you like more straight edge because it's just one whack Exactly, down. this will give you a more straight edge. This is more like you gotta yeah. be you more really straight have to be Exactly, steady. you have to be very steady with this. Let's put the deck into the saw so we can exactly. measure it up. We will align the deck perfectly to the saw now and we will, we will clamp the deck, right? Yep. Perfect. So we just clamped the deck here with this wooden clamp. We aligned here the saw. Safety first. Safety is first, always wear glasses. Let's cut it. Oh my god, that was so loud. Yeah, nice. Perfectly straight. That was very loud, guys. So as you can see, the line here is perfectly straight. So basically, we will take all the dimensions from this deck here and put it back here. Just take the dimensions and just measure it 
to the front. So as you can see, we measured three inches from all the way to the back until right here. And then we just take that and do the same thing here. Now we have to mark it. So we're gonna put a line straight through here. Exactly. We will level up our protection now. Yeah, heck yeah, like a fireman. So we just measured all the break, all the lines we need. For this part, we will use the smaller handsaw just because it's smaller, so we can cut this more precisely. So we recommend for the big part, okay, use a blade like this. And for the smaller part, I honestly think this is always better because they're smaller and more like adjustable, right? Yeah, Definitely. it's a lot easier to get into the smaller pieces. It Perfect. We got it. So now we marked here on the bottom part. We need to cut also here on the bottom part. The next step is a very, very important step. Once you cut all the deck, always make sure you file the edges and make them smooth. It's so important. If you don't file the edges, it's very sharp and you might hurt yourself. And it's just dangerous. You can take a hand file. We personally, we have this um, automatic file. It's the exact same thing. We will file all around the edges here just to make it smooth. The best way is to file it first of all with a machine, if you have one. If not, just take this hand file, right? It's just as good. It just might take longer, but I always recommend taking a smaller file anyway, because it's just more precise. So the next big step is, is to get the right holes for the axles. The most important thing is that you drill the hole straight, so that the axle can be straight. You leave it? The next step is we got here a drill. We will drill now the hole for the axle now. And it's very important to measure it correctly so that the hole, that the axle is straight, right? Yes. How important is that? Very important. Very important. And we're going. Hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he tried to eat the, oh, he tries to eat the microphone. The microphone looks like a cat to him. Thank you. Always make sure you dump the metal parts. These are very toxic. All right, guys, we just cut the hole now for the brake, which is also very important. Get the brake that you're using. Put the down. brake upside down, yeah. Flip your deck upside down and the brake upside down. And depending on the deck, so we just take the brake and slide it in here. Is it grabbing? Always make sure after you did your work, clean up everything and organize it. So many metal pieces and they're very sharp and dangerous. All recycled. All right, guys, we just finished cutting the deck. The deck looks super perfect. It's exactly the same size as my other deck. As we said, I'm so stoked for this. When you cut a scooter deck, the three most important things are, first of all, make sure before you cut anything, you know how long you want to have the deck. That's the most important thing. The second most important thing is the back axle. Make sure you really measure it over and over again. Like, get some sort of, like, fix the deck and then do it how we did it. Yeah, you want to make sure that the back axle is actually straight and not crooked because you don't want to have a crooked wheel when you ride. The next very important thing is, is the brake. You want to also make sure that, obviously, there's different types of brakes, but you always want to make sure that the hole of the brake is always straight and also where it needs to be. Because you, once you drill the hole, you're pretty much set, right? And my last tip is, when you cut a deck, take your time. Like, don't rush things. Measure things really, think about how you want to have the deck, get someone to help you, stay safe, wear your glasses, wear protection, whatever you need. Big shout out to Ronnie here for having me cut this deck. You can also follow him on Instagram right here. How many decks have you cut yet? How many decks? How many decks? Five. Five decks. How, how did they went? How well they went, they went perfect. 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 So what's Every your time. number one most important tip? Most important tip is patience. You have to have patience with this scooter index. Exactly. When you're cutting them, patience is key. Yeah. One more tip, Joe. Make sure everything's straight and perfect. All right, guys. I hope these tips and tricks were helpful for you. I also want to throw in between my normal vlogs, just tutorials, just to like help you out with stuff. If you have questions, comment them down below what tutorials we should do. We will write Chino Skate Park, actually. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go drop a like and comment and what other videos you want to see. Today's post notification shout out goes to Harry and Nino. They know what's up. Make sure you subscribe, click the ring bell, join the notification squad, join the Claudification squad. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you tomorrow. I have insane stuff planned for tomorrow. Tomorrow's vlog will be so good. I love you.